name's Amaya. I'm going to be working on um, making this outfit which I'm wearing. Hello, so this is the skirt. So what we're going to do is we've just taken a rectangle of a fabric which is um, 4 inches by 17 inches. What you need to do is make sure that with your piece of fabric you have it those sizes because then what you need to do is to take the piece of fabric and you need to take the loose ends and you need to pull them out so you've got this frayed end. You don't have to have a frayed end with this, you can just fold your fabric over twice, stitch it down and do the same on the bottom like that and you'll have a nice neat skirt but I wanted to use the fray of it so I've done that and I've just gone all the way around and done taken all those threads out and I've got it laying nicely okay so I've done that piece and that's prepared and then the next piece I have was a piece which is sorry I forgot to it's the width of my um, scarf which was 35 if you don't have enough to do that just make a join in the middle and join it like that and then do this part then so all we're going to do it was 35 inches um, by I think it was four inches three inches 35 by three and then I tuck it and I folded the whole thing so it's folded in half like this okay and fold it and ironed it down and then I brought it back and I laid it flat like that so that fold line was in the middle and I turned this piece up and I ironed along it and then I turned that piece under and I ironed along it and I turned the whole thing over like that so you've got a piece which joins together like that okay and then that is it done. Now this isn't bias binding because we haven't cut this on the bias of the fabric. This is just an ordinary piece and we don't really need bias to this because we're just going to do a very striped piece. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to find the middle of both pieces of fabric. Now you can put a little notch in it or you can um, just use a finger a press and I prefer to use a finger press so that's the middle of my piece there as you can see and then I'll do the thing, middle of this piece here like that and I'll just put a finger press in it there. Okay, you've got to be careful with this because it frays quite easily so I'm going to put that one there and then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to pin it to this piece on that fold like that and what you want to do is we're going to stitch it here on this line here so you've got a very short skirt for your doll okay so I'm just going to pin that in place there like that and then we're going to come along and we're going to just put a few pins in just to hold that together so that when we get to the sewing machine it's not wiggling all over the place but obviously as you know these pins have just been falling out because the fabric is so fine so we'll just do our best like that so I should go with that and then I can always put a few pins in at the machine as I'm going along so being very careful we're just going to do a few stitches on I'm going to make sure it's in that line Sorry. I want to just make sure it's sitting right in the centre of that line. And then I'm going to do a few stitches back. And then I'm going to go all the way across. With this fabric you just got to take your time do it really slowly and just keep making sure that those two end pieces there are touching
So the next thing we're going to do now is we've got this all stitched on is we're going to just take this front piece of binding and we're going to bring it over and we're going to sit it just underneath that line of stitching there, okay? Just like that and then we're going to go along and we're going to stitch all of that all the way along. So I will attempt to put a pin in it and see what happens. What you could do, actually, if you, what I will do is just, this is a bit bulky for it. I'm going to just trim a little bit of this just inside. Don't trim any of those other outside pieces, just the bits inside here. Just sort of come in at an angle and just trim it a little bit. Because I was getting a bit of a bulk there when I was trying to get that to lay straight. And when you get to the end, just sort of bring it up a bit. So like on an angle, because you don't want to cut into those, any of those bits there, because you won't be able to fold them over properly else. Okay, so I'm going to bring this over now. And we're going to just lay that on. And this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the middle here. So this will be the back. So I'm going to start here in that back piece. You might want to take this to, because it's not laying how I want it. So I think I'm just going to take that to the iron and give it a quick press. So here you can see it's laying much better. So I'm just going to take this now to the sewing machine and I'm going to start here. I'm going to give myself about that much before I actually start stitching onto it um, because I want to be able to fray this end off. So I'm going to just do that. So I've got my needle in the middle and I'm actually going to try now and to keep it right on the very edge of this seam. So I'm just going to go to in. And I'm going to just do two back stitches. There you go. And we'll go forward again. I'm just going to take my time with this because I want to keep it on that very edge. Make sure that's just laying straight. You should be able to feel whether that is laying so that the, both those edges are touching. Like that. Here to the piece where the skirt is, you might want to do a little back stitch because that's where at the end where it's going to get pulled a lot. Oops. And I've just come in a little bit for this because this doesn't matter that it doesn't join exact. I want to get make sure that this is laying beautifully. So there we are. So all you have to do now is just to fray your ends. So just go to the very end of your fabric on the on the um, end of your strap and just take a little piece at a time and just pull it away. And as you go, as it comes off, you'll find that you'll just get a nice frayed end, which looks like that. So I'll just carry on and do that one until it's finished and then I will show you it on the door. So here it is on. It looks really cute, I think. Just one or two ends to go around and snip off now. But other than that, it's all done. Looking really pretty. Um, you've got your little doubled over fold at the front like that. And when I turn around, which I'll do in a second, you've got your little uh, knot tie at the back. But it's looking really super cute. And the outfit's coming together really nicely. And this is it from the back. It's looking really nice. 
I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Thank you.